Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here on a Sunday night bringing you another new video. And tonight's video is going to be brought to you under the influence of Founders Mosaic Promise. Some absolutely friggin' ridiculously expensive microbrew. Oh, I mean, that was like $22 a four pack. But anyway, let's get into the first news story tonight. And it's going to be Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen at the 2016 Sydney Darts Masters Final. And somehow i got to get that camera into the computer. Let's go. Why do you treat me so? Okay, let's hop into the biggest news story of the week. Phil Taylor got his revenge on Michael Van Gerwen at the 2016 Sydney Darts Masters final and i was just re-watching this back over on darts planet and in my opinion right here in the 12th leg this was the turning point of the match this was the major turning point van gerwen had 51 left he could have gone up seven to uh what seven to five and this was for a break of throw so let's take a quick look he needs double 16 to take control of the sydney final 19. how important could that prove to be what a chance to yeah, so that, that proved actually really important because Phil took out the 16 to tie it up, and then he went on a roll, and eventually he went on to win it. And we'll take a look at the winning shot here. This is for the power. Double 16. To close out the final. And Phil Taylor wins in Sydney for a fourth straight year. Huge drama. Yeah, so that was massive for Phil Taylor. That's going to build a lot of confidence. And man, he was shooting friggin' awesome all weekend. Had 112 average, I think, in the semifinals, which was a record. Pretty much just deserved this title. He shot awesome. There was no antics at all this week. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Van Gerwen and just beat him. Simply outright beat him. So that was awesome to see Phil Taylor win again. And that's only going to boost his confidence going into the rest of the matches for the rest of the year. So let's get into the, to the next story. And for the second huge news story today, I'll take you over to the PDC World Championship Qualifier in North America. And let's take a look. This guy, Ross Snook, and I don't know a lot about him. He's a Canadian, and he laid the smack down today in the, um, in the qualifier. Let's take a look at some of these stats. Amazing. So he ended up in the final against Darren Young. And guess what? Absolutely friggin' whitewashed him. Darren didn't win a leg in the final. Let's check out the game detail. So yeah, Ross made it to the final, 19 darts, 17 darts, 21, 17, 16, just reeling off leg after leg. This was the best of, best of five sets, I think. Yeah, best of five sets. Anyway, just reeled off Darren Young nine legs in a row to win it. So just an amazing accomplishment. So that's going to earn Ross a first round entry into the 2017 PDC World Championships. So we got $5,000 today for winning the event. And worst case scenario, if he loses in the first round, that's going to be another $13,000. So well done to Ross today. That was amazing. I mean, if you can whitewash Darren Young in the finals, nine to nothing, three sets in a row. Wow. Awesome shooting and well done to Ross. And for the next news story, I'll take you back to last Sunday at the, we're going to stay in North America for the CDC event number eight. We'll click on that and big shout out to Chris White for being a new CDC event winner. That was his first win and it was a 6-5. That was a battle over David Fathom. And I'm going to show you guys this match. We'll hit game detail and what an awesome match. And big props to David Fathom. I'll scroll down here a bit, show you what happened. In the very, the second to last leg, Fathom was sitting on 160. So he took that out. He took out a 160 to force a decider, which Chris White had to throw and took it out in 16 darts for a 93.9 average. And the overall average in that match, I mean, the standard was pretty decent. Uh, White had a 81.6 compared to Fathom's 80.2. And just some awesome shooting. So again, props to Chris White for winning his first CDC event. For the next news story, this one is just crazy impressive. Six, check this out. 62-year-old Paul Lim last week at the Darts Live World Stage number three ended up just kicking everyone's ass. 62 years old. Man, that's impressive as hell, right? But anyway, he ended up winning stage three last Sunday and brought home like a, tw I don't know what they pay out, $12,000 US? 
So just taking home a massive paycheck, super impressive just to do that. I mean, continually, I mean, year after year, he's proven himself to be one of the world's best soft tip players. So man, my hat's off to Paul Lim. Nice paycheck, huge win, and still getting shit done. That's just awesome. But anyway, yeah, last week, stage three winner at the Darts Live World Stage number three. And for the last news story this week, we... <laughs> We have to end it on a bit of fun, right? So this one cracked me up. I don't know what happened. I mean, I, I watched this match a couple times over, and I didn't see David Platt doing anything wrong. But let's take a quick look. This was the first time that something crawled under Anderson's skin here. Let's take a quick look. Well, let's go. And remember, he started this leg with six perfect darts, Anderson. 180, 180. Well, you can see what he thinks. Platt's talking. And putting it so yeah, it looked like he thought uh, Platt was just running his gums in between throws or something. I don't know. I didn't see Platt doing anything wrong. And that was at the end of the fifth leg. Let's take a look here. This was the end of the eighth leg. Anderson had 33 left, getting ready to shoot. A big advantage. Just having a word with David Platt. He's not happy at all. No, he certainly isn't. Platt may well have been... Same as he walked past, but Anderson is out of sorts. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on there. Some something happened there to piss Anderson off. Again, he's always getting pissed off, whether it's at Platt, whether whether it's at Barneville, something. But yeah, Anderson's always getting pissed off. But anyway. We're going to end there, guys, and I uh, want, want you to keep an eye out this coming week. I got a lot of new things coming up, so there's going to be some really cool videos. So just keep an eye out for those, and comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the video this week, and we'll catch you on the next video, guys. See ya!